Hi, just doing a quick video on some setup tips when you get onto the rocks fishing. I've made a few mistakes over the years, so uh, thought I'd pass on a little bit of wisdom that may, uh, may be helpful. So tip number one, when I first arrive here, I set up the burley first and get that cranking while I set up my other gear. That way the burley disperses and hopefully by the time I get my gear in the water, there's snapper or kahawai ready to eat my bait basically. I like to actually defrost my bait and burley the night before. A couple of reasons for this. Um, if the burley is nice and soft and moist, then when I put a couple of holes in it, it'll start releasing straight away. If it's a solid block, I have to, I have to put in a lot more holes to get the burley to release and then it starts to release really quickly because I've put so many holes in the, in the burley uh, sausage. So I like to defrost the night before, I put about three or four holes and usually around the top of the burley, that's usually enough to dispense it even when it gets low, uh, burley still spills out because it's defrosted so I find that's usually best and uh, if I do uh, just go through half a, um, a burley uh, bomb then uh, I can actually tie up the end and save it again for later and I find that's uh, really helpful. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, if you're going for kingfish and live baiting, set up your live bait rig first. I know it's really tempting to want to get out there and catch a uh, snapper or catch kahawai and then rig up your live bait set, uh, after you've caught a live bait, but I find it's best to set up your live bait rig and then as soon as you catch a fresh livey, put it on straight away and send it out. And I find that works really well. I've had a few live baits die on me as I'm trying to set up my live bait rod. Um, and the fresher the live bait is, the better it is. Especially true if you don't have a rock pool to put the live bait in or if you don't have a kid's paddling pool uh, to put your live bait in while you're rigging up your, your rod basically. That also applies for um, your gaff as well. If you've got a big uh, extra long 12 foot gaff that's telescopic or screws into two pieces, uh, set that up before you start fishing for kingfish. You don't want to hook a kingfish and suddenly it's like, oh my goodness, get the gaff ready. Uh, have all the gear ready before you start uh, fishing for kingfish is my advice. Tip number three, after I've got my live bait out, then I can focus on uh, targeting a snapper. Uh, or if I'm very serious about kingfish, that's when I start getting my stick bait rod out and casting a stick bait. And uh, even if kingfish don't take the stick bait, often they'll follow it all the way into the rocks and uh, into where your live bait is. And I find that can be quite effective to getting kingfish uh, from further out, uh, coming closer in and I can cover more ground with my stick bait gear as well. So three quick tips on setting up and getting going on the rocks. Uh, again, just from mistakes I've learned over the years, I find this is pretty good. Not a hard and fast rule, but hopefully it may help you in your fishing.